Questions. Come on, quit asking questions, though. Quit asking questions. You heard me. Just give me my kids. I want my kids, child. Quit asking questions and give me my kids. you decided to wake up. Where am I? You're in the hospital because you OD again. How'd that happen? You tell me. Well, you know, see what happened was and this and that and then a little bit of this, a little bit of that and you know, hey. You can't keep doing this. Hey, it's, it's going to be alright. Where are my kids? They are somewhere where you're not. Are they coming? No. Why not? Because look at you. Look at what you're doing. Look at what you have done to yourself and us. You need to worry about getting better. Bang. 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 wife died in that their hospital bed you laying in. But, like I said, who are you? My Helen. Now I was at the baseball field. And, and they, they gave me the phone and, and told me something was wrong. Put my glove and my bat up and I rushed over to the hospital and walk into that hospital room and, and I see Helen laying on that same there hospital bed you lay on right now. They hand me these two little secrets. Helen and Josh Gibson Jr. I, I just couldn't look at them. All, all I wanted was my wife. You know, white folk, they, they wouldn't let me play baseball. 
and God for whatever reason wouldn't let me have my wife. So I started looking for for my Helen and and, and Reefer. Started trying to find her in a needle. I even started searching for her at the, the bottom of a bottle. But all that medicine couldn't cure that pain. Not having her, not being able to play baseball. So they say I, I died of a brain tumor, but really it was just, it was just heartache. But you in that hospital bed, you got your woman, you got your kids, and you got baseball. What are you doing? Josh Gibson, the Bronze Bambino, Negro League Baseball great, spoke to me in a dream. He said, Sometimes when we on the road, we, uh, we, we need a place to stay, so we kind of just, you know, we just, we just hop on a bus full of everything we own and we just ride till we find the nearest end. Sometimes when we real lucky, the, the moon, it, it looked like a pearl before the first pitch and, and the stars, they, they, they light up like cameras. Every innkeep say, you know, no colors uh, sometimes in the deep south, no Negroes. So that's when we all let a smile slide across our face. We, we get back on the bus, ride at the few blocks down to the park, find our spot in the outfield grass, get Get, uh, get, get real comfortable on our fresh cut cot and sleep. Me, I just stare at the stars and pick which one I'm going to hit next. Mama always told me to shoot for the moon because even if I miss, I'm still among the stars. Because sometimes in life, you've got to know how to let go and let God. Seems like your heart stops working the minute they close the curtain. You take off your mask and take off your costume. And if anyone asks, you're taking a small break, you're drinking some coffee. But everyone knows what you're doing. Seems like the bus moves slower Just cause you got somewhere to go So you take a few pills in Beverly Hills But if anyone asks you You've got a prescription you got an addiction Who do you think that you're fooling? John Doe I just want the John I know Once you put the drinks on her Maybe you could come John Doe Everybody's addicted to something Everybody got a grip on a something Even if it's just a feel, the response of a pill Maybe once, maybe twice, maybe hundreds of times Hundreds of times, without it it's just harder to function at times You race to the bottom of every single bottle As if there was someone or something to find You struggle in your mind and you tell yourself lie After lie till you get to the point where it's no longer private The people that you work with know this is time